I'm here at the FLEA with uh, Hernan Fernandez from the Angel Ventures, and uh, uh, welcome. Uh, tell us about the, the Angel Network that you have organized. Sure, thank you very much for, for the invitation. Um, well, we started Angel Ventures back in 2008, and we were technically the first angel investor network in Mexico. So this started as a pet project when me and, and my other co-founders were at, at MIT. And basically it was a labor of love at the time, because it, what we have seen is that Whereas in the US or Europe, 80% of angel investors have been successful entrepreneurs. In emerging markets, that trend is actually broken. And what we see here is more high net worth individuals or literally, you know, very successful executives that are investing their year and bonus in startups and, and um, you know, impact investments. Uh, we basically gathered the critical mass of, of all of these individuals and family offices, and we were very lucky to be on that trend. And we started Angel Ventures back in 2008, and we, now we have also grown to four countries and two funds. So we currently are now investing also from our uh, venture capital fund. We will technically define ourselves as a, a venture capital fund that does follow and does, uh, you know, uh, uh, find impact metrics, but we're not technical in impact investing. Fund. I was going to ask you whether, you have, whether your, your investors are interested in impact. Absolutely yes, and, and it's something that we we clearly measure in our in our angel investor network. Uh, I would say that roughly between thirty five to forty percent of individuals are are aware of impact investment, and they are very uh, interested in, in in doing impact investment. And besides that, there's certain sectors like, for example, health and education, that probably are also appealing to to another sector. So all in all, I would say that out of our four hundred members that we are active through all of these countries. Uh, about half of them will be open to investing in impact investment. What are you seeing the greatest opportunities now? Uh, it's a lot. I think that the, the, the region is you know, it's changing dramatically. Uh, I think financial inclusion is pretty massive. Uh, everything that has to, to, to do with fintech, it's, it's pretty big in the region. And I think that you come to think about it, you know, we have a lot of banks uh, and banks mostly in the region are, are also owned by, by foreign entities. So they have actually collected a lot of revenues from fees and everything. So you have very small and nimble startups trying to disrupt like different verticals. Uh, it's no secret that the, the Nubank is currently like, you know, one of the, the largest unicorn in, in the region, it's $4 billion. Uh, you also have Clip where we are in, invested. Uh, you know, you have Confio, you have Kweski. And, and basically just bringing goods and services to the unbanked population is just like a massive opportunity. Google Financiero, who's also here, by the way, and uh, it's, you know, it, it's, it's been mapped that there's nearly 230 uh, companies just in Mexico that are tackling different fintech solutions. Is there distinctions between the countries you work in, Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Chile and Peru? And Peru? Um, uh, is Mexico uh, more, uh, further ahead in fintech, inclusive fintech, or is there uh, in innovations coming from the other countries? Uh, it's, it's a good question. Uh, these four countries, uh, you know, form what, what it's called the, the Pacific Alliance countries. So basically, if you add these countries together, you have, you know, stable democracies, long-standing, you know, central, independent central banks, more or less stable uh, F, uh, current exchange rates. And these four countries combined uh, form 230 million people and a 2.2 trillion dollar economy. So that's larger than Brazil, and maybe we like nearly the ninth economy in the world. Uh, and what we see is that you know you also you know Spanish-speaking language, and, and there's you would find like a lot of similarities between these four countries. And so I would say that Chile, in terms of innovation, it's it's probably ahead. You know they, they do have some some like core deep tech capacities. Uh, Mexico is obviously like a massive market, you know, 130 million people plus the paisanos that live in the U.S., which, you know, adds an, another layer of, of complexity, but also it's a, a tremendous opportunity. Uh, we have found, you know, Colombian entrepreneurs have been raising significant rounds and, and they have, you know, grown of age. You now have companies like Rappi, for example, which is like one of the latest unicorns in, in Latin America, have, has done a tremendous job. And Peru is somewhere like getting up to speed, but they have amazing entrepreneurs as well. What are you looking for in the year ahead, say? Uh, well, keep finding fantastic investors, keep engaging with you know amazing people um, as you know entrepreneurs, investors, uh, you know everyone that that forms this fantastic community of of, uh, of impact investment and which Angel Ventures is, is part of it. You know we're just thrilled to be here and to participate and, and keep empowering many of these individuals. So you're an optimist. I'm always an optimist. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you, David. Thank you.